Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another card for you, and this is also a hop with Team Tiny, and this month's hashtag is Team Tiny Love Hop, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we go. So, first all of all, I am using this llama from Colorado Craft Company, and this is the Lama Tell You set, and there's going to be a little pop-up on the screen as I didn't show the actual physical stamp set in this video. So you're going to see that here. And I'm using some black VersaFine ink to do some watercoloring in a bit. Using my stamping platform to get a good impression because this is a very detailed stamp. I wanted to get a good outline of it. So I'm just using some Distress inks here to watercolor, just smushing the ink down onto my glass mat and then spraying it with water and applying the ink. So while I go ahead and color this, I will tell you a little bit more about Team Tiny. So if you've been following my channel for a little while, you're already going to hear this spiel, but Team Tiny is a group on Facebook where YouTubers who are crafty card making channels mostly, um, come together and support each other and encourage each other to keep going and keep sharing what we love to do and we do monthly hops sometimes once sometimes twice to bring you inspiration and new crafting goodies and just what we love so that is what team tiny is you're going to click on the hashtag team tiny love hop to get to all of the other videos in today's hop and you will find inspiration about love and Valentine's Day. This hop is right in time for Valentine's Day. So definitely click on that hashtag and check it out and like our videos, subscribe if you like what you're seeing. We really appreciate it and we would love for you to join. And sometimes there are prizes along the way. So be on the lookout on each individual channel for prizes if there is any. So that is all about Team Tiny. And I'm still going ahead and coloring this up. This is super sped up for you. This was quite the time consuming process, even though it's only a few colors. It definitely took me a while to get the layers that I wanted. And you could definitely have a lot of fun with this and make this llama so many different colors. So all of the supplies that I'm using will always be listed in the link linked down below in the description box if you're ever curious about a product I am using definitely go ahead and check it out there and here is the llama all finished up and then we're going to go ahead and finish this card so and this is a embossing folder that I have so I'm just getting that ready to go through my big shot machine cutting the paper and then I will run it through my big shot machine and that is ran through my Big Shot machine. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to fit on my card front. And I could have left this alone, but I felt like the hearts needed to pop a little bit more. And I thought with the llama being a bit darker, this could definitely be a masculine card as well. It doesn't even worry about the colors, but it just felt like it could be masculine as well so just chopping that down a little bit more and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some color to these hearts with the black soot distress ink and I'm using my blending brushes from the rabbit hole designs and these are called the cottontail blending brushes so just wanted to have that like vintage look I don't know what I was really going for just adding a little bit of color to those hearts definitely could have left it but I just added that in and it's going to all finish off in the end sometimes when you are working on your card and you start to add ink you're just like wait what was I doing but it all does come together in the end and we all have different styles and preferences and that's the great thing about creativity you can create how you like to create and get ideas from places and change it up. So just went ahead and use that same Distress ink around these sides to bring in a little bit more of that black and also give the card a bit more texture just by sponging it on. And then I will adhere that 
heart panel. And I'm going to add some foam tape to the llama so it's popped up and there's a little bit of dimension on this card. So this stamp set has so many fun sentiments. Llama tell you something. You are loved. You're woolly smart. Happy birthday. Thank you. Llama just say. So you can add those other sentiments in. I miss you. Spit happens. Get well soon. So lots of different uses for this stamp set. Happy birthday. Thank you. I miss you. This is a great stamp set. And those glasses on there, if you saw that at the beginning, so cute. I definitely wanted to add those in, but I just didn't feel like it fit. So to finish off the card, I'm just using some Nouveau Drops in red. They are the Autumn Red Nouveau Drops. There is the stamp set a little bit. I didn't fully show it on camera, but I am pulling it out there a little bit to use the sentiment from it. So I'm just going ahead and using the anti-static tool to ink up this, these sentiments. And then I will use the Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink and some white embossing powder. I redid it there. It did not go right. So that is better. Alrighty, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. So what the anti-static pouch there does is it just gets the ink to go where you want and then the embossing powder sticks to the ink better. So cutting these down and I'm going to apply them to the card with the Xyron sticker maker here. And I'm going to just say, you are loved. So I thought this was the perfect sentiment for this hop, for this team tiny love hop, because it says, let me just say you are loved and why not? Great Valentine's Day card, a great card for an anniversary, a great encouragement card. Just so many reasons why you could give this to somebody. And then to finish off the card and just make those hearts come out of the background a little bit, I am using my Spectrum More Sparkle Pen to highlight those a little bit more. And I really do like how the black pops on the on the hearts and also by bringing in the sparkle pen it highlights those hearts and that black a little bit more so there it is all shining and shimmering and all done that is going to finish up the card for today there is a close-up if you like today's video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel i would love for you to join me here on my channel and definitely check out that hashtag Team Tiny Love Hop for more inspiration and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.